Hi, everyone, and welcome back to JSA TV, where we're coming to you today live from the floor of DCD Connect here in London. And uh, we're, we're chatting with leaders today in the digital infrastructure industry. And I am joined by Karen Pugliese, who is the VP of Global Sales for CND Technologies. Thank you so much. Great to be here. Yeah, great to meet you. Yeah. And so for our viewers, I mean, we're, we're first day, first of all, let yeah, me just start by saying exciting. that. Yeah, it's um, how are you finding the show? Have you had a chance to walk around at all? Um, or? Well, you know, so if I can just like touch on the lineup to get in, <laughs> the lineup to get in I was heard. crazy. Yeah. And so if that's an indication of what the show is going to be like over the next two days, I think it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's a great venue and great energy ar around the room. So, but let's Let's start by uh, um, talking, telling our viewers a little bit about CND Technologies, if you don't. Yeah, mind. so CND Technologies has been around for over a century, which is kind of crazy. It's like uh, yeah. one of the best kept, kept secrets, I would say, in the yeah. energy storage world. Um, and our focus is really on energy storage solutions. So we started off, you know, a hundred years ago. Um, really focused on the technology aspect of energy storage. So, you know, what the um, what the focus is around uh, lead acid batteries and really prolonging that life and doing it in a very sustainable manner, kind of from, you know, you could say from cradle to grave. And so being, you, as you said, 100 years yes. as a leader in energy storage solutions, but how do you see that evolving? What are the, what are the evolving demands for energy storage? Yeah, so, um, you know, it's interesting as power demands increase. I mean, we could talk about AI probably for an hour and how that's driving the demand on power, the demand from yes. a grid perspective, yep. how that flows into the data center environment. Um, you know, for us, what it's really kind of bringing to light is two things. So the first thing is, how do we engineer batteries in order for them to last longer? Because the longer the warranty period, the longer the battery lasts, which means you don't replace it as often. And given that you don't replace it as often, it has a less of a power draw. And the less power draw means that it's more sustainable over time, takes less energy consumption. Um, and that really leads to that entire sustainability message, which is kind of the second piece of it, which I think is the most important part, which is not just about the sustainability in the manufacturing, you know, reducing CO2, reducing water consumption, all of those wonderful things. But how do you make that, and I'll use the word asset in your infrastructure, last as long as it possibly can so that you're not replacing it, you know, every two years or three years that you're taking advantage of an eight year warranty as an example. I, I mean, you've, you mentioned the word sustainability a yes. couple times. So I want to dig into that a little bit more. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just always comes back to that, right? It we, does. We talk about it a lot with across the industry, with our clients, with our, our partners and friends across the industry. It's just, you talk data centers, you talk AI, you talk energy, you have to talk sustainability. Yes. And so how are you at CND Technologies integrating these sustainable practices into your, your product development? Yeah, so there's really two pieces to it. I'll talk about what we're doing kind of internally within our own business. Um, we have something called the Green Road and, and it's all really focused on at every step in the process of manufacturing, what can we do in order to be more sustainable? So lead acid batteries just by their nature are sustainable, so 99% recycled, um, you know, 80% of all those plastics kind of go into the, I'll call it the rematerialing of the product. So the essence of the product itself is built around sustainability, but then there's other things that we do in terms of reducing waste within um, the manufacturing process, in terms of reducing our carbon footprint. Um, all of those things kind of buy into both sides of the equation. So it's not about just having really great sustainable manufacturing processes. It's how do we make the product or the battery the most sustainable that we possibly can. And the fact that 99% of it is recycled, I think really kind of lends to that. Yeah. I, and I mean, the other piece of this is how do you do this while also dealing with this unprecedented demand that that's coming and so yeah. how are you how are you dealing with that just in general you know not even necessarily just specifically around sustainability but how is your team yeah. dealing with increased so demand I think, um i think really two things i think the first piece is, is that we are a global company and so we do have global manufacturing and global suppliers and supply chain and so that you know just from that piece of not having to ship things like around the world over and right. over i think yeah. is really important i think the second piece is that we really 
re-looked our product portfolio to really understand what are what I would consider like our our you know, most common products. And then how do we ensure that those are the products that are readily available in every single spot that we engage in globally so that we're not creating this scenario where you're waiting 17 weeks for a product as an example. And those were things that we experienced during COVID. Um, and so now it's really about trying to understand what is so critical to the customer at the end of the day, outages just aren't acceptable. And so in order to make sure that you don't have that experience, you need to have those replacement products or you need to have that product readily available when it's needed. Um, not necessarily tied to being the most sustainable because you still have to get it to the customer. Yeah. Um, and sometimes that means putting it on a plane uh, in critical situations. Um, but those are some of the unique things that we're doing is to really understand what is the critical requirement for the customer at the end of the day. Yeah, makes sense. So if we if we were to step away from CND for a second yeah. and just sort of look at the industry as a mm -hmm. whole, what do you think are going to be the the biggest innovations around sustainability that are going to make the biggest impact on yeah, digital infrastructure? I think, you know, I think the thing that's interesting is that there's so many different ways to look at sustainability. And, and you know, when you there's organizations that are driving sustainability by, you know, building butterfly gardens on their properties. Right. right? Yeah. And those are great. Those are great initiatives. I think from a sustainability perspective, I think the first thing is that organizations really need to understand that there's a cost to it. There's a cost in that life cycle. Um, and, you know, that's really going to be driven by us looking, and this is the entire industry, not specifically yeah. C&D, the entire industry looking at the products that they've got today and the products that they're developing, and then how do they engineer sustainability into that product right from the start? I think a lot of times we're engineering things in like, let's have it run at a higher temperature. Let's have it, um, you know, increased cycles. Let's look at, you know, ways that make it more efficient. Um, but that's not always the most sustainable solution. And so I yeah. think that just like, you know, we've always kind of integrated the aspect of like, how do we make it better, faster, cheaper? I think we need to add a fourth, which is how do we make it more sustainable? 100%. Yeah. Uh, any final words you want to share? I mean, I, I think yeah. that, uh, yeah. Well, one, like so excited to be here. I think that yeah. um, this is going to be an absolutely fantastic show. Looking forward to connecting with folks. We do have a speaking slot uh, tomorrow. Oh. And um, so looking forward to meeting a bunch of new people and, and making this a, another great, great DCD event. Yeah, fantastic. It's been a pleasure. Great yeah. meeting you. Yeah, thank great you meeting so you as well. Thank you. Thank you Excellent. for joining us. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in today to JSA TV, where we're coming to today live from the floor of DCD Connect in London. Until next time.